We're here in the grass garden and this grass garden is just over two years old. Let me tell you first off that the soil was so incredibly dreadful and hard that the first day that we started planting, I dug with a pick, I dug with a garden fork and nothing was happening, literally about that much soil. I then went and hired an auger. Now, if you know what an auger is, it's one of those machines that it takes two people and it's got this big kind of uh, screw attached to it. And you turn this thing on and then you drill and it drills the holes. It was the only way that we could plant in the soil. Needless to say, being a grass garden, that we selected the right plants for it. It doesn't get watered, it only gets water from the skies. But the star of the show, definitely, in this garden is just behind me. We're heading towards the end of winter and we've left that beautiful miscanthus, which is also known as a Chinese silver grass. And let me tell you, there are many, many varieties. There are over 150 different varieties of miscanthus. Hello, Bahari. And a lot of people cut the miscanthus down as soon as the winter arrives and don't because the drama for me is all in those beautiful plumes. It flowers late summer. That's when they flower normally as grasses. Flowers late summer and then it sends up these beautiful plumes which change color. Initially they might be green, they might turn to purple and then of course they become very fluffy at this point where they are about to eject all the seeds. But don't prune them. Don't get itchy to use these. Very often they get a bit um, fally, they, they get a bit unstable. So all that we do is we, we put a few pegs in and, and tie them up to hold them upright so that the other plants around them can still get, get along and do fine, much like the salvias that we've got going on there. So what do we do? At the end of winter, once we've enjoyed those beautiful dried plumes, we then give it a really hard haircut, like very hard. And then the new flush comes through, lovely silvery foliage, um, very gentle, very whimsical, and the process starts all over again. Miscanthus can grow where it gets lots of frost, it can grow right on the seaside, it can grow in a dry soil, and even quite a wet soil. So whether it's next to a water feature, in a dry garden like this, or right on the seaside, there's definitely a miscanthus for you.